Daring Abroad, brought to you by Equity. From the slopes of Mount Kenya in Meru County to Tampa City in Florida State, USA. We are focusing mostly on uh, those who want to get into the IT industry. The IT consultant working with an MCA in Meru on a unique education airlift program. We have partnered with a company there called Empower, kind of a help there. Education here is very expensive. Oh. She's flying out on that yet. This is a dream come true. His name is Robert Mwiti, but he prefers being called Bob. He has been living and working in the United States since the year 2009. Bob is the founder and managing director of Upstake America, an IT company based right here in Tampa City, Florida. Yeah, so this is, this is where we live. It can be a little bit not. <laughs> And it is here at his home where he runs his business. How is the market? Basically what I do is uh, I help immigrants to find education and uh, job opportunities here in the U.S., uh, mostly in the areas or in the field of IT. There's a lot of jobs out there in IT. That's what people really need to understand because this, this, this country, you know, there's uh, IT, it's huge, okay? And uh, a lot of Americans, as much as people back home think that, uh, you know, here are Americans, they have all the skills. There's a lot of jobs, but there's not many people with those kind of skills in IT. And uh, you'll find that uh, when you go to any organization in the IT department, you'll most uh, likely uh, find Indians or Asian, uh, Asians are the ones who are doing those kind of jobs. Bob started his company Upstake back in March 2017 with very little startup capital. My business is basically like, you know, working, you know, on a laptop. So that's basically what I need. It's an internet based company. I use the internet to do, to do the business. It's virtual. The people that I work with them, they are not here, but I have a team. I have one uh, guy who is based in uh, New Delhi, India. He's the manager of uh, placement and recruitment. He's the one who handles that part of the business. Uh, he's also a business partner. Uh, and also I have uh, a team also in Kenya. I have two guys, brilliant, brilliant uh, guys who help me with uh, creating content. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Through social media, Bob is able to connect with his clients. I have a show on Facebook, uh, it's called Success with Bob Mwiti Live. And uh, basically in that show what I do is uh, I share a lot of inspiring uh, content or stories about uh, you know, my life and you know, life here in the US, uh, how to get good jobs, you know, uh, because a lot of people out there, they struggle so much because they don't really have that information. Every week I have like at least a thousand people watching my show. I also have my personal website. It's called uh, www.successwithbobmwetilive. And uh, in that website, I share my stories. I share the programs that we do here. And I also give information also for those who want to come to the U.S. as international students. Bob has not forgotten his roots. He's giving back to his mother country, Kenya, in a unique way. In 2018, he began an education airlift program to assist young gifted Kenyans seeking master's programs in IT to get placement in American universities. He runs the program in collaboration with Dennis Kyogora, the member of County Assembly for Abogeta West Ward in Meru County. He formed a circle where students, those who are prospective international students who want to come to the U.S., they can register with that circle. So we require that you have a B, uh, or in KCSE, a B in maths, a second upper for your degree. 
But if you have a very good grade in maths, we can allow you so that we try and see how you, whether you're going to pass the GMAT exam. Once they register with the circle, uh, they get, uh, the circle gives them uh, three times what they contribute. There is a contribution that you have to do, it's uh, into your escrow account. Okay, uh, when I say escrow, I mean like an account for your own expenses. Kiyogora himself has taken education seriously. The 31-year-old MCA holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science, a Master's degree in Entrepreneurship, and he is currently pursuing a PhD in Environmental Law. We asked him how he got the seed money to kick off the circle. Our governor here gave us World Fund. Uh, from the World Fund, I got 2 million shillings as the initial seed capital for the circle. Then, you realize there are so many people who are paying, some are not qualifying immediately. So as more go, there is more money coming in that we can use the money from people who are joining to lend, as we also allocate some more money from the county. So far, Kiogora and Bob have been able to help close to 30 students majority of whom are still in the examination phase. From the 30, one went in August, two are going on 30th of December. One more is from Kisi County, he will be leaving in May. So that will be the fourth for the program. So you mean your program is open to the entire It's open to anybody. Bob says all the tests will cost about 250 US dollars, which translates to about 25,000 Kenya shillings. Upon passing the exams, one would have to prove that they have enough finances to be able to live comfortably in the U.S. And this is the last stage before visa application. Now for us in our program, uh, we have uh, Empower who offer unsecured uh, international student loans of up to $50,000, uh, which can be able now to fund those who are coming through our program and they can be able to uh, finish school here. Kind of a help there that is paying their fees. They are given 100% fee loan. They are required to, pay, to stay in America for more than 10 years so that they will be able to repay the tuition fee that they have, that Empower will have paid for them. So, Chamada, meet Elsie Kagueria. One such beneficiary is Elsie, who scored an A of 82 points in her KCSE examination. Yeah, she's flying out on that yet. To be honest, Chamada, this is a dream come true. What are you, you going to study abroad? I'm going to the University of South Florida to study Masters in Business Analytics and Information Systems. Mm -hmm. In addition to the monetary facilitation, students also receive IT training at Bob's company as well as job placement once they are done with studies. We do training on uh, Oracle EBS, which is one of the um, most popular technologies out there. We do training on robotics process automation, which is basically a technology that uh, leverages the power of uh, artificial intelligence. In Meru, both Kiogora and Bob are heroes. During our visit to Miti's rural home, there was a light moment when Bob called to say hi to us and the village literally was talking to him live. His mother was probably the most excited. Bob was raised by his grandparents. His grandfather was excited to show us how Bob has changed their lives. And this homestead has been modernized thanks to Bob. This is where Bob undertook his primary education, and his name is etched on this list of fame. I took him from class 7. I was his uh, mathematics a class teacher, or subject teacher rather, and uh, he impressed me. He has been a good example to all 
and each one of them, even the parents, even the peoples, they want to break that record. Bob is an old boy of Nkobo High School. The school is proud of his achievements. He is a role model. The upcoming students uh, look to him. If he has done it, then the boys also know that uh, he, they, can, he can, they can also do it. So he is actually a pacemaker. He's an inspiration to them. Back to Tampa City, where Bob lives, and his journey, he says, is an indication that you can shape your future regardless of your background. I really didn't know what would happen when I, when I came here. I was just happy that I had gotten the student visa after struggling for so many years to get out of my country. But if you can re be really prepared and know exactly what you're going to face when you're here, then that one can make a big, big difference uh, once you come to the U.S. It is the hope of the 37-year-old loving husband and father that people are able to learn from his experience and to fully capitalize on opportunities abroad. Scholarships are there. It's only that people don't have that patience. They don't want to do the job of actually going in and making those applications. No one will give a scholarship just like that. And this is Bob's parting shot on our diaspora bite. Before people come here, there's that misconception of everything in the U.S. It's like nice and all. Well, life is good, but they, it comes with a lot of challenges. And uh, a lot of people, when you are out there, you don't really know what, what you're going to face when you get here. And uh, this is what a lot of people don't know, you know. And, um, you know, when you are out there, first of all, the thing that you need to understand is you need to gather as much information as you can before you actually get here. Lovely. That's the story of Bob Mwiti, and he's told me he'll eventually go back home, but not until he's fulfilled that he's made impact in people's lives back home, especially the youth. On behalf of my production team at Champs Media and our broadcasting partners, KTN Home and KTN News, many thanks for watching. Let's do it again next Saturday.